I have finally found a use for my Ignite sticker. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, now, actually, today I am going to be looking at and field testing the breakout boards for the quick plug system from Cobra. These come in two flavours. You've got a parallel version and a series version. Both have one input and five outputs. And although these are branded as Cobra items, I will in fact be using them on my Ignite system, but they will work in the same way with any quick plug enabled system. Um, so I'm going to start with the parallel version, as this is the version that you're going to be needing if you are using clip-on igniters. In a previous video, I showed you how to wire up third-party Talon igniters to fire more than one at once. I'll just bring a quick video screen grab from that up on the screen because the wiring carnage that ensued doing that uh, was a little bit fiddly, even with uh, easy clip connectors and so on. So if you are staying within the quick plug ecosystem, a breakout board makes much more sense in terms of making it easier and quicker to set up. So this is the parallel one. And this is what you would use to fire your um, clip-on igniters. Now, clip-on igniters can only be fired in parallel. They should never be fired in series. So this is the board to go for for this. You will also need a cable uh, to connect uh, your output from Ignite to the breakout board. Availability and pricing in the UK is a bit unclear at the moment. And at this point, I'd like to say a huge, huge thank you to Roger at Heritage Fireworks. I will put his web address on the screen below. Roger posted on my forum that he was putting an order in for some Cobra items and was very kind enough to allow me to tag on an order for the breakout boards and a couple of connecting cables as well. And he's posted them up to me within a couple of days of them arriving in the UK. So Roger, thank you so much for doing this. It's really very much uh, appreciated. I will put details on the screen as well of the part that you're looking for if you want one of these and also this along with the current price in dollars as it's listed on Cobra's website. So it's really now just a case of popping one end of the patch cable into there and then the other end goes into the input on the breakout board and then from there you are simply connecting your Ignite clip-on igniters into the outputs from there instead of on your firing system. So at the moment that's only going to fire one, which is uh, not what we want. So there we go. So now we're firing uh, two, which is the recommended maximum number on uh, Ignite's website in the help section. But we've established in the previous video that you can fire more than this. And Scott has confirmed the system does have capability of firing more. It's just that the more you fire, the, the greater the risk that something might not fire. But I think it's safe to say that this system's got plenty of reserve. If, if you've just got a few cues in your firing order where you do need more than one igniter to go off, uh, I think it's a, a very capable system for doing that. So we've got uh, three wired up there. Let's pop another one in. So that's four and we can go, go for five. Uh, in actual fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go straight for the jugular. So I'm going to fire five official Ignite igniters in parallel, all off one queue. And I will be firing um, some pieces of green Visco fuse, which is the same type of fuse that you clip on to on your consumer firework. Now, before I get to that part of the field test, one thing I'd noticed when I was setting these up is whereas the quick plugs on the end of the igniters are all very snug fit, the patch cable itself uh, is a little bit um, less snug and I don't know if you can see very well there, but uh, this does have a bit of give in it. So just be aware on your firing site that you will need to make sure that nothing's going to snag uh, or pull this out because this does come out a lot easier than uh, the plugs from the igniters themselves. All five fired okay. I'm not going to repeat this same experiment with e-matches in parallel because clip-on igniters do take a bit of extra oomph to get them going. So if it works with clip-on igniters, we can almost certainly say 100% it's going to work with e-matches. 
Now you can use this for e-matches, but you can't use it for clip-on igniters. I know I keep ramming that point home, but I don't want anyone to buy the wrong board uh, and find that your igniters don't work properly. Again, I will put the part details and the price, current price on the screen below. So this has got an input and five outputs again. You've also got switches to say whether you have or haven't put an igniter on each of these connections. So that's a more important consideration uh, than on a parallel board because you've got to be careful that you're not uh, breaking a circuit before you've even started. And connection of this is exactly the same as before. So one end goes into your firing system, the other end goes into the input on the breakout board. Please excuse the wiring carnage for this particular test, but I just wanted to satisfy my curiosity about how the switching of this board works and whether if you're using less than five um, igniters that you have to go in a strict order from input along so that they all work. So first of all, as you can see, these are all switched to no igniter. So if I fire the ignite unit, you may be able to see that just flash to say that it was firing, but nothing has happened. So let's switch the first igniter, which in this case is a bulb, uh, on and as you can see that did light up there but what would happen if for example I pick one further down the chain would it work or would there have to be a sequence of these all on to get to that point because it's in series let's have a go so that actually fires that one okay and in actual fact you can cherry pick which ones of these you want to use by switching these on and off so that's uh, that's nice to know you can also um, do combinations of bulbs. So if I do one and two, now you will struggle to see this on camera because it's wired up in series and so it's going to struggle to light it up. But those two went off there and in fact I could pick one and five and if I do that, those two, you may have seen that, I'll do that again. Those two go off. If I try and do three with these bulbs in series, I don't think that's going to do much. I mean, I can see it with my eyes, these three here, but you might not be able to pick that up on camera. So it's a very flexible board, this. You can cherry pick which outputs you want to use. For testing e-matches on this particular breakout board, I don't have any that are wired directly into a quick plug because all my igniters are the clip-on igniters. So in order to simulate a test, what I'm doing is using standard e-matches from my stash of igniters as you can see uh, we've got one there i'm going into a connector and these are in fact the connectors sorry the igniters that i used on the first field test i've just cut the clip off the end and then i'm going from there into the board like so and then i'm going to switch on to say that there is an igniter connected now i'm going to go straight for the juggler again with this because there's no point in testing one then two then three then four so for this field test i'm actually going to connect five e-matches in series yes that did make me jump i've got so used to using clip-on igniters that are almost stealthy in operation that i've forgotten that E matches do pop when they go off and five of them together pop five times louder so apologies for the camera shake there so the parallel board worked fine the series board has worked fine as well it's a much more elegant solution i think for using the quick plug system um, i hope you found this video useful if you have please show some support uh, like the video become a subscriber these things do help the channel out they also give me an idea of uh, what videos are proving more popular so i can dig a bit deeper into the topics that we all need answers to thank you for watching